Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Archaeologists in Chile believe they have discovered a human footprint dated to between 15,500 and 16,000 years old, which is the earliest physical evidence of human activity in the Americas and therefore this find changes the way we view the history of human settlement. Discovered in the archaeological site of Pilauco, an area that has been excavated for the past 12 years, the footprint was discovered in late Pleistocene sediment. At the Pilauco site, located in the Chilean city of Azorno, the experts have also discovered evidence of ancient horses and an extinct type of elephant. The footprint isn't actually a new discovery and it was first noticed by a university student back in 2010 near a modern house. And over the past nine years, scientists and archaeologists have been cautious in their interpretation as some believed it was an animal track and not human. But through in-depth analysis, paleontologist Karen Marino and geologist Mario Pino are now in a position to reliably confirm that what we are looking at was indeed created by human activity. The experts carried out footprint tests showing how sediment moves and is deposited as a human is walking and the two scientists were even able to conclude that the barefooted adult was male of light body weight weighing around 155 pounds or 70 kilograms. The sediment the footprint was in was radiocarbon dated through analysing the organic plant matter and the approximate age was 15,600 years old. Talking to the media, the scientists were able to confirm that this is the oldest footprint found in the Americas. Other younger footprints were also found in the location, showing that this area must have been either a continuous human settlement or it was home to a number of settlements over the years. Graham Hancock's new book, America Before, puts forward the hypothesis of far more ancient human activity in the Americas, but this is apparently the first datable physical evidence of humans in the Americas older than 12,000 years old, and therefore strongly challenges or quashes the idea that Clovis Man was first to settle the continent. Chile, of course, is in the extreme south of South America, so this footprint being the oldest evidence of human occupation does not quite tie in with the theory that humans crossed into America via the Bering Straits and then migrated southward. The fact is, we don't have enough physical evidence to say with any reliability how the Americas were first populated, as this is just one footprint in Chile from 15,600 years ago. Human settlements could have begun far earlier, but traces of evidence could have all but disappeared. An incomplete archaeological record means we need to look for other evidence for human civilization, as Hancock does in his new book. Talking to the press, Dr. Marino said, Little by little in South America, we're starting to find sites with evidence of human presence, but this is the oldest in the Americas. This news story comes on the back of a new discovery last week when archaeologists discovered that humans were in the southwestern Amazonia in Bolivia at least 10,000 years ago. That's 7,500 years earlier than originally thought. Jose Capriles, assistant professor of anthropology, said that these groups were hunter-gatherers but they also showed territorial behaviour and that they domesticated plants such as the sweet potato, peanuts and chilli peppers. In total, five human burials were discovered, along with snail shells, fish and mammal bones, and they have conclusively changed the way we view human settlement in the Amazon rainforest. Food remnants, evidence of fires and territorial markers, as well as clear signs that they adapted and transformed the tropical landscape, shows us that these were not the primitive hunter-gatherers we imagine, and it actually points to a far more complex society thousands of years earlier than previously thought. This is a really exciting time in the study of archaeology and ancient history, and it does appear that in a number of studies, academia and independent research are beginning to converge. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.